One thing I noticed, did you notice? There's Almost, a vein. Yes, there's, there's some sort of thread mm -hmm. that is so familiar, I see it in almost every second one. They're like, oh my goodness, this was so timely for me. You know, I did THM once and I was doing so well and then somehow I got off the bandwagon and I fell off and now I just, I just need help. I don't know why, I just need help right. getting back on. Maybe this will be it, maybe it's my mindset. I don't know what it is, I just, I can't stick. And there's so many times too, with that same vein, that cry of the heart, like I've tried, I've tried to set it up, I've tried to put everything in my life in, in a, in a way in my brain that I can keep on the wagon and no matter how hard I try, I'm off the wagon. I know. I end up off the wagon. Help me. And so, I do mean, you want to talk about that? I do. Okay. Because as I read it, I'm like, what? This is it. Yeah. We have to pinpoint this, Serene. Mm. Because this is the heart cry of woman. Yeah. Why, why do I go back to the old? Mm. When I know it's hurting me, when I know yeah. it's not my optimum. I mean, my first thought would be, do they realize their worth? That's my first yes. thought, but and maybe then, that's then, not no, it. No, 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 I think it's part of it. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it like has to be identity. Are. And these who women they know are. it's their identity. They right. know they've done all the little hundred days of, mm -hmm. you know, not, uh, not eating off plan. They've done the fuel cycles. They've done the two week yeah. menus. They've done it all. They've done the hard stuff. Yeah. Way harder, harder stuff than, than we do. Way harder stuff than we do. So it's not that they're not capable, they're over capable. In fact, most of these women, I'd like to say, Pearl, are so amazing, disciplined, organized. I don't want to say it's priorities. It is. It, yeah, it but is. That's kind of mean. No. To say we have priorities. No, it's not that our priorities are more right. It's just where we put our value. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, because we only have so much time, we have only have so much focus. That's the biggest we, thing. All of us, mm -hmm. all, every woman that I see on yeah. there, every woman I've met is pressed for time. Right. I'm pressed for time, you're pressed for time. Yes. They're pressed for time. But you see, I'm pressed for time and I've decided and it's not any more right than them. Yeah. But it's just so we that I can, stay on, we talk. <laughs> I can stay on the wagon of my, of, of what I choose value for. And that is health. Health for me, health for my family. I choose, I say this wagon is of value. Yes. So I prioritize events, energy, focus towards that. And that's why I don't fall off because it's where my value is. But like I said, other areas of my life where they may have value, mine are down yeah. the toilet. Actually, my toilet is okay. pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but, so, I hate to walk here and say, oh, our value's right, No, our value's, value's wrong. not right. Well, I think it is. But it, no, 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 no. Let me yes, say something. Yes, but can I just say something? <laughs> if I can interrupt you too in a kind, beautiful, sisterly <laughs> way. We're not saying it's right. We're saying it's the way you can stay on the health wagon is by put, giving the health wagon value and priority in your life. But you life. see, every other wagon you can get on, Serene, can't be achieved properly as you get older without the health wagon yeah, being that's there so first. True. So, you're so right. that's why I'm saying not to be mean to yeah. all those women, but they want to hear truth from us. Yeah. The health value is the priority. Yes. We've got God. Yes. We've got family. That's it. And the health value has to be intrinsic Boom. within. Now, here's why. Why is it about God and family too? To have God and family as priorities, then the health priority has to be there too because how can we really serve God if we're feeling like we've got headaches all day and we can't get off the couch how can we really serve the family with that same lackluster like we just so um, we're just not thriving but you and I right I do have to say this that we have been incredibly blessed through our upbringing because we were brought up with a mother who um, sewed into us the value right. of health oh yes so we well, not just mother grandmother yes. so we came up I would say with a double portion of this mantle of passion right. for honoring our bodies. Right. We were told from children, hey, this is the body you've got. Oh, God it's the temple it to of you, the Holy Spirit. And you honor it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and we I mean so serene, so so us doing this, it just feels like it feels like obedience, right? right. So it's, it's not that's, on wagon, that's it. off wagon, it's just no. obedience. So so I think we're we're establishing here how we personally don't fall off the wagon is we've with, with not said, that we're perfect. Well, I'm no, not. No, um, the wagons, all the wagons I've fallen off in my life are huge, but not the health one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, uh, I've, I've assigned value to it. 
So with that value comes priority. It becomes focus and it becomes time. And I've assigned to, to health obedience. Because to me, it's an obedient factor. Yes. I, I, I actually have not, to tell you it is. And it's not a dirge of obedience. No. To me, it's a joy of obedience. Uh, obedience. It to, doesn't mean though, Serene, it doesn't mean though that it's always easy. It takes no. the time that it takes. Yeah. But guess what it doesn't take? And this is where I think so many women. Yeah. I, my heart cries for them because I see what they do and they say, mm. and I was on Titch and I was doing all the menus and I was making all the foods and that's why, and, and I was and I was doing the the, the sippers and the shrinkers and the, all this and that's and I think. I think I made a shrinker four years ago. Yeah. And that's why they fall off. Yes. Because they do assign value and they know it, but then they try to do it and it's not simple enough. It's not sustainable. It's too complex. So you right. and I have figured out how to make this a a, a value, yeah. but more than that, an obedient walk. Uh, and, and I think but in it's that, easy and joyful. In that obedient walk, we've said the overarching thing we want for our health is that we don't spike our blood sugar. I'm actually getting that. right. Yeah. That that we exercise. Yeah. That we that we spiritually, you know, walk in this this joy that's set before us and this rest. So we yeah. assign time set aside for, for to be able to decompress from stress and 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 read the Bible, you know yeah. what I mean? So we have these values, but we, we don't say it has to look like certain menus no, or it, it has doesn't. to look like so much chopping. Like we've just spent three days, you know, full, full meetings on the weekend, nine yeah. to five. And then when we get home, we're still researching about it for this new hormone yeah. thing that we're doing. But we had to bring our lunch. Yeah. There's no time for menus. And we had to make dinner when we got home. There's no time. But we, it was very simple. It's just like we know the list of foods we eat and the list of foods we don't eat. It, comes it doesn't down to, have it to comes be down to those complicated. Sweatpants, sweat meals again. If I could just, you know, so, but, but, but then again, all right, so these, so these women coming into our group and what? And we're there. But it's a simple. You pulled out three bananas from your bag, yeah. some goji berries, some, you know, some walnuts, a salad. It was almost um, separate ingredients you just chucked in. Yeah, and I get that. And that's practical, that's streamlining and that's simplifying, right? Yeah, to the max. But, but let's get back to the reason that we can help these women. When we talk to them and I let me... When they come Did in that and they're mean like... Don't interrupt? Yes. <laughs> when they come in and like, their hearts cry, like it's a cry. It's like, why? Why did I fall off? I don't know why. Why? And, and here I am back. And hey girls, it's kind of like I knew... I got, God wants me here because there's something more and it's my mind and it's my heart. Yeah. And, and I have to say this. It is mind and heart and it starts with the mind to protect it, to practice the thought pathways and it sinks deep down right, to the right, heart right, and then right. it becomes. And right. then it becomes. Now, Serene, you and I, as I said before, were brought up with these mind pathways. Yes. So many of our women coming in were not. Right. So, so what we have to... Have you know? I mean, such grace to say. Yeah. These oh, I agree. Take time. Oh, I agree. But you know, like we said before, there is only so much time in our life. Yeah. And and I would like to have a clean fridge, and I would like to have, you know, um, my homeschool papers all ticked off perfectly. Yeah. Right. But I've actually assigned value above those things. Right. And that's how I do keep to it because when the rubber hits the road. And that, you know, the dust hits the fan or whatever that saying is. If I've only got so much time, I'll assign the fact that me and my children are going to go out for a walk today. We're going to exercise. Yeah. Even more than doing the third math test. Or, yeah. okay, we've got no time to clean the fridge. Well, I'm still going to do my workout. Yeah. Sorry, fridge. <laughs> Sorry, fridge. You'll, have, you'll be there to clean. But my glutes are rusting. Yeah. You know? <laughs> No, I get it because that's the way I feel because I feel first and foremost, and, and maybe it sounds selfish, right? Maybe it sounds, well, well, okay, if you're homeschool, you work out of the home or whatever. It means certain things have to be done. And if you're a mother, you have to look after your children, of course. But I assign value, and I did, to my health as one of the extreme high and top priorities. What I was eating, if I was exercising, some of the things would have to go out the window. If my children can't, couldn't go to a, you know, some sort of event, here and there that was okay because they need a mother who's healthy yes. because that will ingrain in them mm -hmm. lifelong health practice like, like, them. Our, like our mom did yes. to us yes and she was such an amazing mother to us and um 
you know, we didn't go to ballet class every second day, right? No. But we, but we were taught these values yeah. and they're more important for us. But you know, another thing that helps me um, not fall off the wagon, it's a mindset of a decision. Well, I found truth in this area. Yeah. I've ticked it off as this is the way to go. So I just walk in it like a zombie now. I don't ask myself if I ever want to get off of it. Like yeah. with exercise, yeah. that's my major victory with exercise. Yeah. Not once on an early Monday morning do I say, do you feel like this, Serene? I don't even I let my brain go near the question. No, you can't Never. because this it's morning, the question asked. This morning was, was glute day, right? Yes. And, and also that's another thing, understand time. But I make sure my workouts are just manageable, like 30 minutes or less. Okay. We're not driving right. to gyms and doing all that no, time, no, no, so I don't have can't. time for that. Okay. No but glute and serene, I, I felt the questions coming like pearl. I almost got scared because it's like, it's a lot, right? And I didn't feel like doing it. And I kept saying, do you really, Pearl, want to do glute day? And the you more, asked? Yes. No, my brain asked me. Oh, I don't and, know. I don't know. Well, that. see, you've trained yourself. Yeah, and I realized, a, a I realized, don't ask yourself this, Pearl. Stop it. Yeah. Put it out of your head. Just, just, ex just do it. Don't. Think about it. It's, it's like what you, you don't do. ask yourself, do you really feel like brushing your teeth? You just yeah. do it. It's kind of part of your life's plan, right? Yeah. You, it's you just brush what your you teeth. Do. So I put it out of my head, went up there like a zombie, like you said. Yes. <laughs> just turned that YouTube on and did it. Yeah, it's just and you put your so shoes glad. on, you do it. You so don't even think. No thinking. Yeah. And I think that's a key. And, I, and it's what you ask yourself when you when you come to these, you know, things for breakfast or lunch yeah. or dinner. Yeah. When you give yourself all the other options, yeah, you know the unhealthy ones, the ones that are off the wagon. Yes, you don't even give them to yourself. No, no. Apart from you know, maybe it's your Valentine's. Oh yeah, that's different. Oh, we're yeah. not. We're not saying you can never have a treat. But if you're finding yourself falling on the wagon, you need to practice more some zombiness. Yeah. But what are we saying then to so many women who are saying, "Hey, listen, I believe." in the way you're, you're, we're eating. I believe mm -hmm. in the, this approach, Trim Healthy Mama approach. I mm -hmm. believe in it, it works for me. Well, what they say to Lot, don't look back. Yeah. Lot's wife. Yeah. Don't look back. But it is a mindset of value, yeah. Serene. But yeah. then the value, it's even more than a value. And I would say it is obedience. It is. It's Why? Obedience. But how can we strip? But it's not like, oh, if I don't, I'm going to hell. No, oh, no, no, if no. I don't. No, I don't think any of that junk. All I'm just trying to say is I'm obeying the truth that I ticked. Yes. My brain had a mental ascent that this is the way that's going to make my life vibrant and me a vibrant mother for my children, a vibrant wife. Yeah. Um, this is the way I want to live my life in my body. Tick. Yeah. So now I just obey that truth. It's not like you're a big, oh, you're going to go get caned by God. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but, it's, but it's really, uh, we, it's being a good steward. Mm -hmm. We can be good steward of so many things like, you know, our house and organizing it. And you know all these other things, but I just but we place have more value on me than my house. Is see, that that's a terrible. No, thing? no, no, it's not terrible, Serene. Yeah, I'm saying that you know we don't want to live in trash heaps, but no. my house is probably messier because I place more value yeah. on um, keeping healthy, mm -hmm. and the, and something has to give. But one day you get a couple of hours yeah. extra, you clean that house gorgeous, and you're you got sitting energy. toned, vibrant, healthy, and vivacious in your clean house. Yeah. But if you keep your clean house perfect all the time and you get a couple of hours once every six months to exercise, you're sitting sore and in pain and kind of like not yet healthy in your clean house. I'd just rather tick the one where, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. How, but what about if it's just not, oh, I like to organize and clean my house. What if life is really, really brutal right now? And, and people are going through things, yeah, like they children are. in hospital. I know, but that's when I, that's when I hit in high gear. Yeah. And I can speak to this. Yeah. I'm not looking down my nose or saying I don't understand because I can speak to this. I had two children in the hospital at the same time, both yeah. not knowing whether they would live. Yeah. And that's when my decision, I ticked the obedience of, oh, my stress level must be up here. My immune system is going yeah. to be pressed hard, serene. 
hit the high gear. Boom, 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 yeah. boom. And your high and gear I wasn't any more work for no you. No more work. But I thought to it was myself, just nutrition. Nutrition, nutrition. Put that extra bit of vitamin C in that smoothie. Put yeah. that extra bit of that. And I, my, my diet, what dialed in like a zombie. Yeah. I didn't. We didn't stop by McDonald's on the way home in the hospital. I just pulled up my little cooler yeah. here, babe. Here's your yuck yum. Here's mine. Yeah. You know? Right. Because because I knew that that. The devil wanted to destroy my health along with theirs. I know, I know. And if I didn't have health, who's going to make the soup for the sick families? Yeah. You know? Yeah, who's going to have the strength? Yeah. Someone needed strength. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I think, I think it is just an impartation. Like, Serene, like our mother passed it on to us. I think, you know, as these women are following us, on, you know, seeing our lives, mm -hmm. I see, uh, you know, just just everyday life. I think it, that's what it is. It's osmosis, and it's maybe not us <laughs> saying sit down and here's your value and all that. No. It's just being with someone. It's mm. being. It's 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 like imbibing it. Yeah. As you're closer to that. I just want to encourage those that listen to us. You or know, watch us. Or yeah, wherever on the party. Here. That we just want to inspire something that's going to start in them and go down their generations. They can be the one. Pearl, it wasn't just our mum, it was our grandmother. Yeah. Remember, she used to take yeah. time every day to do her little yeah. walks around the, yeah. the redwood forest in New Zealand. And she'd come home, make a meal at porridge yeah. and juice her salary. Yeah. She'd talk to us with a little sniff all about her little health um, things she wanted to try. And then she'd make try. these lovely proteins at dinner and it was never sugar. Yeah. And it was... Yes, yeah, so and it was all delight and joy. So I think value. sometimes I think like when we're doing our little lives, and I might be just, um, and I feel like, what have I got to bring? And then I realize, well, <laughs> I'm just going to go make lunch. Maybe I'll just show my lunch. But I think yeah. that's okay because that's the way our mom and grandmother right. passed it to us. Yeah, right. Exactly, exactly. And I don't think it needs to be big. I just think it needs to be little. It's the little. Yeah, it's the little, and I think that's how you don't walk off the wagon. It's just assigning value, walking out in the little. Don't walk it out in the complex. No. If you want to sometimes, yeah. fantastic. But we but we didn't stay on this wagon by keeping on having it complicated. Sweatpants, 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 you know? Yeah. No time to get in the fancy outfits and drive to the gym. No time to make meal menus for us. Not for me. I mean, great Some if we could. Some people do better with them, yeah, and that's, that's great. Fine. But yeah. simple does it too. Yeah.